What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to be uh, recapping this season of Married at First Sight for you guys. So let's jump into the way the episode number three began. We found out exactly how it was that Amelia and Bennett knew each other and it was quite beautiful and whimsical and I don't know, fate driven in my opinion. It turns out that Bennett and Amelia met at a party months ago and that she thought he was cool and he even remembered who she was when the efficient said, her name. According to Amelia, Bennett had taught her about credit cards at a party that they were at and she felt charmed by him and then he's like, wait a second, you once were at a gig that my band was playing at and then to us he says that he remembered feeling like she was a little bit special but that he had a girlfriend at the time so of course he did not pursue Amelia for that very reason. To me I was like, is this too good to be true? Like is it real? Like were they, like I don't know, like this truly can be fate. Like they seem perfect for each other in every way. I have never seen a more perfectly paired couple just based off experience, um, appearance alone and like the backstory in this show's history than these two. Meanwhile, Henry sends Christina flowers ahead of their wedding and she takes it as a sign from God that it is meant to be right because apparently the she's never received any flowers from anyone outside of her grandfather who unfortunately has passed away. And guys, I just have to say like ahead of time that Christina Christina, to me, is the most unlikable girl on Married at First Sight. I just feel like she's got a very punchable, like, unlikable face. And she comes across super bitchy as well. And she seems like the type to blame it on anxiety. Um, you know, we saw that in the first couple of episodes where she's freaking out at a party because people are having fun and she decides to be snooty and go outside. And then you even see a little bit more of it come out in this episode as she, you know, her mom is trying to help her, like, adjust the veil and stuff. And she starts bitching at her that she doesn't want her to touch the veil anymore. The Married at First Sight people ask her to shoot like a confessional for them because that's what they do. They're on a TV show. She's like, I'm not moving from the spot. So, you know, if you want me to do one, give me a camera. I'll do it here. So they give her a camera and she shoots, hey, can't wait to get married. Bye. And that was it. I was like, girl, you are not a nice woman. Like Henry seems like the most pure, kind hearted person in the world, you know, and fragile too. So I am really worried for him. I actually thought that Henry and Olivia would have been a better pairing because Olivia's husband, I forget his name name but he seems like a douche um, and Christine both are quite douchey so I would have thought that they would have had a competition to douche each other and just bother each other and leave the nice people alone because otherwise everyone else is well paired but I wish that Christine was with the douche and that Olivia was with this nice guy because they seem more you know suited for one another. There was a lot of tension between Christine and Henry at that altar oh my god they were both so freaking awkward they could not have been standing any further apart from each other and their efficient was also like very terrible at reading out loud which only adds to the awkwardness that they were going through. Like she would make very awkward pauses or stumble over words and I was like, they couldn't find someone literate for this job? Like what the hell is going on? I would be so pissed if this was the person that was chosen to be my officiant just over there ruining the whole thing. Um, Henry's uh, father fell asleep throughout both of their vows, which was quite sad because both of their vows were beautiful by the way. You know, Henry was sweet talking about how, you know, he hoped that one day they would be able to buy a home together and have kids. And, you know, Christina was sweet too, talking about how she really wanted to be there for him and put her best foot forward in their marriage. His dad missed literally all of that and only woke up in time to watch them have their first kiss. They do make a very beautiful couple though, both very attractive people, and they actually kind of even look alike from certain angles. I also thought it was cute that she asked him if he thought that she was attractive, like when they were kind of talking after the ceremony, um, but then she turned around in her confessional and laughed at him. She was like, oh, Oh, like he's not someone I'd normally go for and then she emphasized at all which I felt was like sis this is your husband you're on television why would you disparage him like this you literally just met him you asked him if you thought he was he thought you were attractive just so that you could turn around and say that he's not attractive enough for you like that seems very mean-spirited Christine even scoffed at how she couldn't even remember his name and I felt like it was very classless I feel like I was on the nose with her in my pre-season video when I uh, predicted that she was not going to take marriage that seriously. She seemed very shallow based on her biography. Now, um, Henry though, by the way, is way 
too freaking awkward and that is not attractive to most women. He needs to gain some sense of confidence and like take charge in certain aspects of like moving their relationship forward because as it stands, it's Christine like trying to break the physical barrier between them and that gets old after a while, you know, especially when you are the woman in a relationship. Um, I don't want to be mean, you guys, but Bennett gives me serial killer energy. I've got two theories about him, okay? Number one is that he's into knife and blood play, and number two is that he is the Ted Bundy type. He seems like the type who wants to like slit your throat a little bit while he bangs you and lick the blood, okay? And how the hell did Christine make it onto casting for the show? The girl has only been single for nine months out of a five year relationship. She is clearly, in my opinion, not emotionally ready to be a wife to a complete stranger. She probably still has a lot of like, um, you know, lingering feelings about the demise of her super long-term relationship. It didn't seem like um, a good idea to move forward with her. I feel like she will be a train wreck. Henry is super difficult to read, but I feel like at this point in the episode, he doesn't really like her because she gives off a very cold and weird vibe. Um, Henry gives off a very warm vibe, but he is also quite weird himself. Both of them very clearly lack proper conversational skills. Now, Henry's dad's toast was so weird you guys I literally did not understand a word of it I was like you know he's speaking English I speak English I understand English so why don't I understand a word of what it is that he's saying it kind of felt like he was just talking like womp 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 and I didn't get it people laughed, so it must have been funny at some points it's been a while since we've talked about Karen well her mother went straight to business with her husband Miles letting him know that she was not 100% on board with her daughter getting married at first sight but um, she did give uh, Miles a chance by giving him advice on how to approach his marriage to Karen. He was like, listen, you take things very slowly with her. Like she's slow to open up. And if you try to like force and push things out of her, she will shut down and you're not going to be in luck. And obviously that's not something that she wants, like for her daughter to get divorced. So it's good that she gave her husband advice despite being against this marriage in the first place. All right. Now this is where things get super duper interesting. Buckle the F up because we're going in. One of Henry's friends turned out to be a girl that he had dated in the past. She's this blonde woman and she goes, oh, like I went on a date with Henry once and it was just so boring. So I was like, we should just be friends instead. And so she basically says that she built a friend group around him. And these girls were so lit that they all hopped into the confessionals talking about how they weren't going to automatically accept Henry's wife, Christine, into their circle because they're judgmental of the way that the two are getting married. And like they were very sexist and pick me in my opinion they go I judge any woman desperate enough to do this like Henry's not desperate because he's good looking but I judge any I look down on they literally said look down on any woman who would do this so I wonder why the double standard for women and not men ladies and then these women went on to say that they don't feel like they consider their friend married they're like I mean I know he's married but I don't consider himself married like I don't respect their relationship and to me that is a big ass red Red flag telling me that Henry needs to drop them if he wants his marriage to succeed. If your friends tell you they don't respect your marriage, there's a freaking problem, especially if you've gone out on a date, dated at least one of these people. If I were Christine, I would be like, listen, I am drawing the line right here, right now. These women look down on me. They don't respect my marriage to you or your marriage to me. Like us as a union, as a couple, as a family, they need to go point blank period no ifs ands or buts this is not happening it is ridiculous um, it's shameful that they would even say something like this on television about their friend like they are not his true friends to be sitting up here and talking down on him and his wife in this way like I, my jaw hit the floor at the 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 sheer audacity of these women like I was like these are disgusting I if I had friends like this I I would be heartbroken, honestly, I would. Remember how there have been some infidelities throughout the show? I'm not saying that Henry would ever cheat on Christine, but I am saying that his trifling ass, hoe ass friends are not to be trusted. I would never put it past them to try to do something to jeopardize his marriage and 
yeah, this season is about to be lit. Guys, I feel so freaking bad for Olivia. She should have been paired with Henry, like I said earlier, because her husband, Brett, is trash, and he is going to absolutely break her heart. We already saw him flirting with like all these other women at the bachelor party. Like He just has like such a shit-eating gr uh, grin all the time, and he, like Christine to me, has a very punchable face. It's just unlikable. You see it, you're like, God, I would love to punch that so bad. Not that violence is the answer. It's never the answer, but you know what I mean? Like some people just have faces where you're like, ew, I don't like that. It's nothing to do with what they look like. It's just a very punchable face. And like, it's typically attached to a very shitty personality, which they both seem to have. For example, Olivia's bridesmaids were asking him what his biggest fear was now that he was married. And he said that it was that his contacts would dry before he made it back to his room. And they all stared at him with disgust. And honestly, I would too. Like it, it, he seems like a loser. It's such basic bitch um, humor. And I can't not stand people who cannot be serious for one second. For those of you who watched that show um, on Netflix, Indian Matchmaking, I feel like this is a type of man that Aparna was talking about, like people that cannot be serious for one second. Like your grade five humor is not impressing anybody. You know, my friends want to have a, a serious conversation with you um, to know whether or not they could trust you to take care of me as your wife. So pay attention and have an adult conversation, please. I promise you're not as funny as you think you are. It's incredibly obnoxious. I really love the scene of Woody with Amani's father and stepfather. Like it was very vulnerable of him to talk about how, you know, grateful he was to have two dads in his life because, you know, he his biological father was not involved with him. So he's like, wow, to go from having no father to two fathers, it's Christmas. I am so happy and it's amazing to know that I can, you know, count on both of you and it's amazing that you've both been there for this one girl, you know, to act as her father and I loved it. I thought it was a very genuine, heartwarming scene. Woody seems to be one of the most committed men in the whole show and um, like he's there for the right reason. So I'm 100% rooting for him and Amani, but I do have a slight reservation towards him because his friend in like the first episode, she's like, I don't even know why you're doing this because you were a player from the Himalayas. So I really do wonder what kind of track record he's got. And I always feel like people don't ever truly change. Like they, you know, they can put on a front for a little bit, but they will always go back to their old ways. Um, the truth will always come down, come back. The truth will always come to light. A leopard never changes its spots, blah, blah, blah. So if he is as horrible as his friend had no problem airing him out for being on television as he was about to get married, I do worry a little bit that he is putting up a front, but for now, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Did you guys notice that Henry's friend, the blonde girl who talked about how she didn't want to keep dating him because he was so boring, she went up to Christine specifically to talk about how sexy he is and asked if she was physically attracted to him. Like I said, she gives me very sneaky, jealous vibes. The types like that's like, oh, I don't want this person, but I don't want other people to have him. Or that's like, you know what, this person's not attractive to me, but someone else is attracted to him, so that makes him attractive to me. Um, he was chosen as some sort of a catch for a show about marriage, so he is, you know, marriage material. I thought I was too good for him, but like my prospects are not looking too good. I'm still over here single, so maybe I should, you know, do a little bit of a U-turn, see what he's got going on over there. What you doing, big head type of girl? I don't trust her at all, and I really hope that he distances himself from her. He seems like an incredibly awkward person who has a super difficult time forming friendships and even leaving friendships when they stop serving a purpose in his life. So I feel like that would be a very difficult ask for him. So we'll just have to wait and see what he does with this relationship. But I hope that she continues on in the show because I want to see it explode. You know how I told you that Bennett gave me hardcore serial killer energy? He kind of confirmed it for me at the reception when he ate the raw egg and like slurped up the yolk. I was like, that is disgusting. Only a Ted Bundy type would do that. What is going on? And in the final scene of the episode, Christina and Henry climbing into bed together. Guys, I am not lying when I tell you I had to pause the show to roll on the floor laughing at how incredibly awkward it was seeing them get into bed. Christina was obviously waiting for him to make a move. She's there in her dress looking beautiful and he's just there looking at the rose petals like, wow, how many rose petals? Wow, it's real. It's not artificial. Rose petals. Ah. 
yeah, Rose Pack. And it just kept going. The awkwardness kept going and going. He never once looked her in the eye or anything. Like it was so awkward. Henry, please, please, please take some charge. Please gain some confidence. The way he's been acting so far is so unattractive. Like, you know, oh my God, like some kind of confidence, something, give her something to work with. She already like held her hand, went for the kiss and everything. It's your turn to make a move. You could have at least been like, you know, can I help you with your dress? Like, where are we tired? I don't want to rush you. Like, talk to her, something, crack a joke about how you just got married at first sight, damn. So Christine was like, okay. And so she goes to the bathroom to like get her dress off herself. At that point, she was already so beyond turned off and disappointed. Like, I'm sure like she was not like, expecting him to want to bang her on the first night or anything but some sort of like tension or like flirtation would have been nice at the very least guys what did you think about the third episode of married at first sight season 11 make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and as usual we'll chat that's all for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time